starting lineup. Kihei Clark, such a big part of that as the point guard who has emerged as a real leader. Been able to get in the gym and practice. Didn't resume practice until Wednesday. So you're seeing the rust offensively from the Tigers early. Huff got himself inside and got that one to drop the seven footer. How difficult it is to play against this team when you're in rhythm. And Clemson was definitely in rhythm before over the Tigers. Brad Brownell knows this very well, how difficult Virginia is to play against. Their favorite choice of opponents to be able to go against the Wahoos, and you see why early in this game. Mm -hmm. A little backdoor cut there, and up and in by Clark for two. The 7-1 senior, an easy dunk. Major comebacks, especially over ranked teams, where they've trailed at halftime. But the way that Virginia's playing offensively, they're not going to let them back into this game. And you're up 25-5. to five. Pretty little fall away and knock down for two. That turned out to be a game in the end, didn't it? It did, but the difference between the two teams is the ability to score offensively for Virginia. Evens Point High School in Wisconsin is the same high school that Tony Bennett started. Ever since Tony Bennett took over at the University of Virginia, shot clock violations are cheered for when there are fans in the stands. And, of course, you always cheer for the big threes for the big fellas. And right now, back-to-back -back three pointers by the front court. Back-to-back 18-point -back games for Hub. That pass tipped and picked off by the Cavaliers. On the drive, and a pretty play there by Beekman. But also a capable scorer and playmaker to take some of the pressure off of Kihei Clark. Right to Clark as he picks it off. He'll drive it, a little pop for two. You turn away, you go watch a MacGyver rerun, you come back a half hour later, and maybe it's really tightened up at that time. The way Virginia's shooting it, no. Way by Sims. Shot clock is all the way down to two. Got to get a shot in the air, and they hit it anyway. Remember, the Tigers have been sensational defensively. They're holding opponents to just 58 points a game. On November 25th, the first game that ESPN Family Networks aired this year, I talked about how I felt like this Virginia team could defend and win another national championship. The defense was not where the offense was to start the season, but I do believe the defense is getting better. Tonight, 11 out of 19. They have just shredded the Clemson defense beyond the perimeter. Here's another one way downtown, and another one that goes down for Hauser. After mm -hmm. doing so, and the program that he has created in Charlottesville. Morcell will drain a triple. Beekman underneath takes the hit and drops in two. Reese Beekman, if you missed about the first 10 minutes, Clemson barely got into the scoring column. And swished in another long distance shot. Well, the Tensai, who is really a key man in the first half. The way they're shooting it right now, Virginia doesn't look like they're going to slow down much at all. As no, Jay Huff continues to find <laughs> himself in sports in the highlights. So you got to give Virginia a great deal of credit with the hot shooting by just about everybody. Again, the season doesn't end today for the Tigers, but right now it has been awful. Oh. Cavaliers is. Chase Coleman gets involved. I'm sure that was something that really played into the part. It's not like you really have to make plays to get the assist. All you got to do is run the offense because <laughs> whoever's catching it is making it. And there it is at the buzzer, your final score, 85 to 50.